close your eyes, and get in touch with your breathing. It's the process of life here inside your body. Without the breath, the mind wouldn't know the body. The body wouldn't respond to the mind. It's the glue that holds everything together. And it stands to reason that if the breath feels good, then it's going to be good for your health, good for the health of the body, health of the mind. So take some time to see what kind of breathing feels good right now. Breathing is a physical process that can be either intentional or automatic. The problem is when we leave it on automatic pilot, sometimes it gets strange. We start breathing in ways that are constricted. We're not paying attention to the body because we're more interested in other things outside. And as emotions go through the mind, especially as they take hold, they're going to take hold in the body too, and then it goes through the breath. Which is why sometimes at the end of the day you haven't been doing all that much, but you find you're just full of tension. It's because you have, you've been storing these things away. So when you catch yourself with an unpleasant emotion, just breathe calmly. It's good for the body and good for the mind. It's good for the body in the sense you're not building up this tension. You're not blocking the flow of the blood to different organs in the body. It's good for the mind because you're able to step back. Because all too often, once the tension builds up in the body, then you read it as a sign, oh, I must be angry, or I must be whatever. And then you pick up the emotion again and again and again, because the physical symptoms are still there. But if you realize, okay, this is the result of a moment of anger or a moment of fear or whatever that goes through the mind, you can consciously breathe easily. And that gives the mind a good foundation to stand on, where it can look at things and decide clearly what really needs to be done. Otherwise, you've got this sense of something in the body, you've got to get it out. Either that is going to get bottled up, and the Buddha gives you a third alternative, breathe through it. And then look at the situation calmly. That way, if something needs to be done, you'll be much more likely to see what the skillful response is. And that way you protect yourself, because otherwise you do unskillful things and then you're going to have to reap the karma. And you're afflicting other people with your, with your bad emotions. So. For your own sake and for the sake of others, get in touch with your breath, this force of life, so it helps you live a life that is a lot more skillful, a life that gets the results you want, a happiness that you can depend on. <laughs>